don't know if you've ever noticed this before, but here in Cascadia, we have quite a few different types of deciduous trees. Now, one of the most unique and gorgeous of these trees is a personal favorite of mine, this one here, the Sitka Mountain Ash. Whew, what a beauty. Oh, hey folks, how you doing? Now, Sitka Mountain Ash is an incredibly common species of deciduous tree here in Cascadia, growing up to four meters tall, often in coniferous forest clearings, uh, meadows, stream banks, openings in the forest floor, and they're really easy to distinguish from other trees in the area because of their super iconic mountain ash leaves, flowers, and berries. Now, Sitka Mountain Ash is just one species of the genus Sorbus, and there's over 200 of these in the northern hemisphere alone. So while Sitka Mountain Ash, the range tends to be more in the northern part of Cascadia, it commonly overlaps with that of the western mountain ash and the introduced European mountain ash. Now, where these three species overlap, they tend to hybridize readily, and I need to be totally blunt and honest with you guys from the get-go here. A lot of the trees that I'm going to show you in this video exhibit characteristics of this hybridization. For example, Sitka Mountain Ash tend to grow from, uh, you know, multi-trunk, multi-stem bases like this one here, but then right over here we have one growing from a central trunk, which is really characteristic of a European Mountain Ash. So, while they're all gorgeous trees, I want to reiterate the fact that nature's wiggly, nature's weird, it doesn't fit into boxes easily, and if anything, humans are the weird ones trying to make everything you know nice neat and orderly because that's not often the case so yeah gorgeous trees had to clear the air and now we can get going with the rest of the video here oh, now my absolutely favorite part about all these mountain ash trees are their leaves because they're so beautiful they're so unique they're so cool looking you know they're these long leaves with oval leaflets running in pairs alongside them uh, with serrated edges and pointy tips, especially when they're younger, they tend to have really heavily serrated edges, which makes them look like little saws or something. It's pretty cool. Sitka Mountain Ash tends to have between 7 and 11 leaflets per leaf, uh, Western Mountain Ash 13, and European Mountain Ash 15. All these trees have really similar bark when they're younger, you know, really silverish, smooth gray, and then as they age, it tends to crack and peel. And like I mentioned before, Sitka Mountain Ash and Western Mountain Ash tend to come from uh, multi stem trunks, whereas a European Mountain Ash has a singular trunk. All gorgeous trees, though. Oh, look at that. So in the springtime, Sitka Mountain Ash forms these bunches, these clusters of really white, small, round flowers. And once those are fertilized, they turn to these really cool, vibrant red berries, which is a really nice splash of color here in the forest of Cascadia. These berries range from a, a deep, rich, vibrant red to a bright orange, and they tend to stay on the tree through the fall and into the winter, which makes them a really important food source for birds, squirrels, bears, all sorts of critters. Although, to us humans, they tend to be a little bit bitter. First Nations in the area would rarely eat these berries, and when they did, it was often after a first frost that tended to make them sweeter, but Again, not often, so while they're gorgeous, they're not very delicious. <gasps> oh, dude. So in Europe, mountain ash trees are commonly referred to as Roman trees, which is a Germanic root word for tree or getting red, referring to their berries. Here in North America, these trees never really played a major cultural role, but in Europe, they had this almost this magical property to them where in Celtic mythology they were often used for druid staffs or magic wands, which is uh, pretty spooky stuff. Whew. So that's the Sitka Mountain Ash, one of the most gorgeous trees we have here in Cascadia. Absolute beauty, one of my true favorites. So next time you come across one, I 10 out of 10 recommend just checking it out, appreciating how gorgeous it is. But please, do not eat those berries. Those things are terrible. <laughs> Dang, what a beauty. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel below or just keep watching to keep learning because the more you know, the more fun you're going to have next time you're outside in nature enjoying it. Sure is rad out here. There's just, there's so much green, you know, I've never seen this much green before.